I just built an AI agent that takes a free text query and uses that to apply filters to then find leads using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. But the crazy part is that you don't actually need LinkedIn Sales Navigator to make this work. You literally just type in what you're looking for in plain English. We've got a couple different variables here and it'll go scrape LinkedIn, find your ideal prospects, research each one of them, and then write four personalized cold email variations for every single person. And then all of it gets put into a Google Sheet so I can actually see all of the leads that I searched for, quick summaries and locations, and all the different emails that it wrote, as well as the research report that actually drove all of this too. Now, if you've ever used Sales Navigator, you know why this is a big deal. You're paying a lot each month just to access better filters. You still have to manually click through all the profiles and you can't even export the data without paying for a third party tool on top of that. This agent does all of that for a lot less in minutes. And I'll show you exactly how it works. So the issue with how you do this traditionally is you'd log into Sales Navigator and it's like a hundred bucks a month, by the way. And then you've got to set up all these different filters manually. So you're clicking through industry, company size, job title, location, all that stuff. And even after you find the people, you're copy and pasting their info into a spreadsheet and you've got to click through on each profile to research each person individually. Go to their profile, check out their recent posts, and see what they're talking about, figure out which angle to use. And then you've got to actually write the cold email. That is easily hours of work for a list of 50 prospects. And so what I've built here is a way for you to put in a free text query, and it actually does the research and all of that for you. So the way this actually works is I'll type in a query, like I want to find five sales directors in Austin, Texas, in companies with under 100 employees. So what that does is it fills in this custom tool that I made. In reality, this agent doesn't have heaps of steps to it. It's actually just one tool. So it's more of an automation, but it works really consistently. So when we type in our query in plain English, it actually fills in all the inputs and that's the agent doing that, which is why it's really useful that this is an agent. And then it gives me this step over here that is asking me for approval. So the reason I made this wait for your approval is so you can check over a few of the filters that it applied. It's usually good, but you might want to add more. So I might want to increase the search limit. Right now, five is good for this test. I can then add stuff like keywords, current title, more companies, more regions, industries, etc. But as you can see, I've put these little meta descriptions to explain to the agent how it should fill them. So I've said under 200 employees, and it's put in the, the right headcounts over here, seniority level, director, region, Austin, Texas. So it's got all the different things that I've put in, in this plain text query. And so it's successfully filled all that out. If I put more, it would put more, et cetera. You just need to make sure that with these queries that you actually put things in that exist as filters on Sales Navigator, of course, for this to actually work. So once it's filled everything in, the next input is actually information about me and my company. So for example, I've put in my company name, my company description, and you don't need to fill this out every time. You can just fill it out the one time. What this is good for is actually creating the cold emails and making more relevant research happen because the last thing you want is a very generic email based on maybe just the research they did, but that has nothing to do with your company. So what we've put here is, for example, Acme Core. They build AI-powered outbound systems that close more deals. And the quality of the cold emails is only gonna be as good as this description is. So you gotta make sure that you've put in, let's say, proven results, why teams choose you, what we deliver, our mission, etc. This is a very quick one that I generated, but a lot of teams will be able to come up with something very good for their own product. And then I'll put in the sender name. So for example, Felix at this email address, and then the Google Sheets spreadsheet URL and my account. And so if I go into the build section over here, this is the actual agent and where I would set it up. I've basically got my sender name, sender email address, Google spreadsheet URL, and all this information here. So when you set up this agent, you'd put all of your information in, you don't have to do it the one time. So now when I go to run it, I can approve this step. It is very likely to actually fail once or twice because it's gonna get the region syntax the right way, but that's okay. The reason that that happens is it just doesn't find the valid mapping for the city. And so it'll just correct itself and then we'll go again. It costs next to nothing to rerun it. And then we approve that and the search query will go out. So while that's working, I'll show you that I've got an empty sheet over here. It's just the test sheet. And so this is the URL that I gave to the agent and it will research the leads and it'll find the leads and then research those leads and then create cold emails and then fill all of this out over here. So I'll actually show you under the hood how the tool works while that's going down. So going into this tool over here, I will edit it and then show you the breakdown. So 
We've got a lot of inputs that the agent will expect. Many of these I have set so that you set them manually within the agent. And then there are the ones below that the agent will decide how to fill. And that's based on your plain text query. So these will all be filled based on what you type in. And there's some helper text over here to give the agent what the options are. I've done all the work for you, so you don't need to worry about it. So when it looks at your plain text and it finds a department, it's going to look at this list and say it verbatim just to make sure that it all works. The reason I couldn't do this with regions is that there are an unlimited amount of regions almost in the world, so very difficult to account for every single one of them over here. What it'll do next is it actually searches through LinkedIn profiles through Crust Data. And I've actually gone and mapped a lot of the different inputs. If you did want to run a search and you found that there were limits with the way I've built this, you can actually run this tool custom and input a few other things. For example, first name, last name, company type, etc. I've not mapped to these variables. These variables are just where the inputs are mapped. You can actually just run this tool custom without the agent and it'll work the same. But I've just made this easy for most people to use. And then I've run it through some JavaScript to clean up the data. So you don't have to worry about that. And then it goes through a loop. So basically, if I get five leads, it'll run this automation five times on each lead. So we go through and we see get personal profile from LinkedIn. So what that search was going to actually give us is five leads and their LinkedIn URLs and other information. Now I want to get more information about them. So I want to get a whole snapshot of their profile with all the details. I also want to get their recent posts and even their company profile as well. So I'm basically running this automation through a few different tool steps. And so get personal profile, it gets their LinkedIn profile URL and actually runs that search. Does the same thing with recent posts as well. And then we've got some other things that uh, basically just help with formatting links and uh, getting the company profile from LinkedIn. And then we've got a research report writer. So what that'll do is it'll get details from their LinkedIn profile and their posts. And then we've got an output format here. So if you ever wanted to edit what the research report looks like, this is the place to do it. Basically put in a summary or a framework for it to fill out when it does the research. And then it basically just formats a lot of the writing. And then there's an outreach writer. Again, if there's also a place you want to edit how the outreach is written, I've made this super generic because it's really hard to account for every industry. But we've put in some basic email writing standards like authenticity, directness, conciseness, an email structure that is very generic but could work well for a lot of businesses, and then some personalization processes. So a lot there, and you can edit this, and this will change up the level of detail and you know how your emails actually end up looking. But I've made it very basic for now. And then that company description that we provided before about Acme Core will also really heavily influence how this email turns out because the better information you give in terms of pain points, solutions, social proof, and metrics, the better your email will be too. So just going through this now, the rest of it is really boring stuff that is gonna clean up our result and then add it to the Google Sheet. So let's check back now and see where this is at. So interestingly, it's actually found no leads. And the cool thing about the agent is that it actually tells us there's currently no available LinkedIn profiles for this criteria. So it actually gives us some suggestions. So I want to broaden the search to include similar titles, expand the company size range. We can actually go with all of its suggestions. So yes to all suggestions. And so now what's going to happen is it's going to rerun that tool. And then we're going to get a bunch of new things mapped out that'll expand our search. So as you can see, it's actually self-correcting. We've got different current titles, sales director, head of sales, VP of sales. The region is in there. We've got a few more seniorities and the, the company headcount has increased. And we'll run this through again and see what happens. Okay, so it's looking good. It found the leads. And as you can see, you've got five leads here. And we can see the results over here. We've got the LinkedIn profiles. They seem pretty legitimate. Vice president of sales in the US. And yeah, we've got all of these here. All the leads have been added to the Google Sheet. And so now I can view this sheet over here and it's looking really good. We've got all the different leads. I'll just clean this up really quickly by converting it to a table. And so now we've got, yep, got the leads and we've got email bodies over here. So we've got subject lines, email bodies, 
more and more and more of that pretty much everything that we need and they're pretty decent emails so there's a lot of personalization in there notice your position as community builder in austin and run a small gtm team small headcount often means limited sdr capacity yeah i mean like it's a really good start and these emails definitely have a lot of personalization to them. What I would say is that this is a demo and so obviously if you edit those prompts with the outreach and the research and then also edit your company description, you can really hone in on exactly how you want these emails to look. It's just a question of giving it examples of your best working emails right now and then you can replicate the process. So there you have it. I've got a list of five leads now, just like I asked for, all of them in Austin, Texas, all of them in sales and with that certain company headcount with all these different bits of research and email subjects and email bodies for touch email sequence. And that was all done by me just typing in, I wanna find five sales directors in Austin, Texas. And it just realistically said that these don't exist and then gave us some recall section and we were able to get leads that we wanted. I really think this solves a massive problem because LinkedIn Sales Navigator really locks you into the platform when you just want to find leads sometimes and doesn't let you export them at all. So by just doing that, we've already achieved so much and that we can just push these out to a Google Sheet. But the real kicker is that we've got these email sequences now as well. So you can easily export these to something like Smart Lead or Instantly, or if you use a CRM, that too. And you can always modify this agent that I'm going to provide to you as a free clonable template to actually include other steps of research or do other things. And you can even put in your own API connections and stuff too. So super easy to do all that and make this agent your own. Hopefully this was useful to you. It was an absolute game changer for me and has really helped us to scale our outbound. I'll be dropping more and more content and agents like this very soon.